Oh my God. Today is the day. The day I finally move out. This can't be happening to our boy. It's okay, Doris. We all knew this day had to come. It's too soon, Boris. It's his birthday tomorrow. We were going to give him a birthday party with just the four of us. I'm glad he's leaving. I can turn his room into an open cinema. Good morning, family. What a beautiful day. Caillou. I. Yeah. What? I'm waiting. Good luck. And I hope you and Dora have a successful future. I finally get your approval. Mom, it's okay. I know, I'm just being silly. It's just that, I wish you can stay just a bit longer. Mom, I'm only a 10 minute walk from here. It will be okay. I for one won't miss you. Shut up Rosie, I don't care what you think. I will miss you least of all. I failed trying to keep you away, I'm a horrible mother. No you're not, you are just overprotective so have you got your pills yes mom extra jackets I've got it mom you hugged me yeah I know do you know how long it's been since you last hugged me um a while good luck Dora Hug me and see what happens to your teeth. Um. Uh. Oh my head. Serves you right. Mom, look at the state of you. Get me a coffee. Finally something we both agree. This isn't normal mom. You need to see a clinic. You still believe that nonsense. You better be sober by the time we go to the Victoria Cafe for Caillou and Dora's housewarming party. Party. Why didn't you say so? Let's get ready. No. No booze, Mum. Oh, Tracy. I mean it, Mum. You could be in some sort of an accident. Okay, Tracy. For you. I'll try. Not try, Mum. Will. Brenda, what are you doing here? There's something you need to know. Brenda, what is it? The day after the robbery, behind your back. I visited Little Bill. What? Why? I just wanted to face him one last time, and I did. I can't believe you did this. Do you want to know what he said? No, I don't want to hear what he says. I said the very same thing to him. What are your plans today? I'm going to a party at the Victoria Cafe. I'll see you there. As friends? Sure. As friends. Business has been slow lately. Thank you for letting us help with the party. No problem, Stacy. How's it going? Great so far, Debbie and Diego has been decorating. How's it going guys? It's good Stacy, no problems whatsoever. Okay Debbie, move to the right. Right, okay. Done? Yeah, that should about do it. Hey Debbie. Yeah Diego? Nice work. Oh. Well you too. I'm just going to check if there's anything else that needs putting up. Doors open. Ugh. Colleen, what are you doing here? I know what's going on. Ha 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 ha. I knew it. Tracy sent you, didn't she? So something is up. And Tracy did not send me. I came here because I was worried about you. Well, I'm fine, Colleen. See you later at the party. I was an alcoholic. Once. When I ran the orphanage, the biggest regret of my life was drinking. If it wasn't for Annie, 
I wouldn't be in a better position. I got a home, a job, and perfect friends. You should reach out your daughters, before it's too late. I don't need help. I will keep warning you, Carly. Until you listen, you're going to keep running into a threatening situation. Pray that doesn't happen. I did have good memories in this house. Well, I guess it's time to make new memories. Dora. Is all the packing done? Yeah, Mom. Please ask Punjab to deliver it to the apartment. I need to meet Caillou at his house. Of course. I still got the money. I better hide it. Well, goodbye house. I can't wait to introduce you to everyone. That's a massive step. This party is going to be awesome. Well, hey lovers, how are things? Things couldn't have been better. We are so pumped for this party. Good to hear. Coffee is on the house. Hey Stacy, Ronaldo wants to ask you something. Of course he can. What is it? Gay Pride is coming to Plotagon City in a matter of weeks, and we were wondering if we could put the Victoria Cafe up for sponsor. It would mean more business. How can I say no? Of course you can. That's brilliant. You're a star, Stacy. You're welcome. You really made him happy. Thanks, Stacy. No worries. Have fun, guys. I'll let you say your last goodbye, Caillou. We will meet you at the cafe. Thanks, Dad. Well, I guess this is it. I'm leaving. I'm going to be with Dora. I've come so far with her. I remember the day we met. Hey, I'm Caillou. How are you? I'm Matt. I'm Dora. The Explorer. Dora? The Explorer. You know, I never met a dog that is such a handsome as you are. Oh, really? I never met a girl with a pink shirt. Uh huh. Uh -huh. You're so funny, Caillou. Here we go. The rest of our lives. Together. At last. Goodbye home. Where do I keep the gun? So when Bobby comes, I'll be ready to blow him to the skies. Mrs. Hall, open up. Try getting through this door, and see what happens. I said open up. What are you, a crazy old lady? You're wasting your time. Go bother some other old lady, Bobby. I'm not leaving until the money is in my hands. Come closer and I shoot you. Ha ha ha. I got a weapon too. If you let me search for the money, in return I won't kill you.
I've never seen so much happiness in one room. I know, all thanks to you my sweetie. There's a lot of people to talk to, I guess I'll see you after the party. In our apartment. Caillou, Eliza made this mini cooker for the muffins. Would you like me to turn it on in the kitchen? Yes Stacy, that would be great. Okay, fresh made muffins coming up. Hey Tracy. Who knew that Caillou and Dora would end up getting the apartment above the cafe? Hey, don't let mom ruin the evening, let's just focus on now. You're right, sorry I'm just stressed. What was you talking about? I was talking about upstairs of the cafe. In the hall upstairs, it was the same place that you told me I was your sister, remember? I want to tell you, but the pressure just keeps pushing me. I have no idea what you are talking about. I just want to tell you, tell me that you're my biological sister. You, you think I'm your sister? You are. We have the same parents, the same birthday. I'm your other half, I'm your baby sister. Stop it. My family is dead. Died and buried by my baby and friend. And you are not my sister. Please, I really am. You are wrong. You are wrong. Get out. Get out. Just stay away from me. If I ever see you again, I will call the police. You hear me? Like I never had a sister like you. What is that? She. She was telling the truth. Tracy. Tracy. My sister. I remember. I should have been clear to you. It is what it is. Now we have the family together. If it can be together, that is. I'm sure mom will come through in some way. Just let's enjoy today. For your sake, Annie, I will, and not for hers. Hi, Stacy. Don't tell Tracy but I will give you a couple of glasses tonight Carly, and no more than that. Oh Stacy 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 Stacy. I thought you would be so much better than this. Jenny, how are you today? What are you doing here? I'm here for the party, I have no plans so I thought I'd join Bill. What are you really up to Brenda? Are you trying to split us up? No Jenny. I'm glad you and my ex-husband are together now, I'm just trying to fix what's been broken. Cheating on him was my biggest regret. You're lying. You still have feelings for him. So what? I'm trying to start fresh. Now go be with your fiancé. Thank you, I will. Where the hell is it? Where the hell is it? You're wasting your time searching, Bobby. Paul, where did you put the money? You will never find it, Bobby. It's gone. For good. No, no, no. I don't buy it. You must have given it to someone else. I don't know what you mean, Bobby. Who did you give the money to? The money. Oh, hey, Dora. Caillou. Mrs. Hall's money. I need to keep it safe. Let's go up to our apartment. Put it away in here. Thanks, Caillou. Mrs. Hall will be so proud of me. Is it safe? Yes. Keep that key safe. I will. Now let's go downstairs. Everything is fine guys. Everything's fine. Yep, everything's fine. Wow, moving a lot of Caillou stuff was a pain. Ain't that the truth? I love this armchair so much. More like bad memories. Remember that Christmas where we were here and you sat on that chair pretending to be Santa? Rosie, 
go to meet Santa. Okay, since you're so glad to reality, I'll let you see him. But it's not what you're going to expect. Merry Christmas, Santa. See, do you think that looks like? Oh my God, Santa Claus, he's here. I don't believe this. Oh my God, Santa Claus, as Rosie then and Bree. Hello, Rosie. Have you been a good girl this year? Yes, yes, yes. Rosie wants free vouchers for Starbucks, a new handbag, and tickets to Lady Gaga concert. Oh, well, I'm sure I can fit one in. Oh, for crying out loud. It's Dad. Dad, how can you? Why? Rosie comes back. I remember, and Kai, you pulled my beard off. And I was only pretending to make you happy, not sad. I learned my lesson, but it hurt me. I still can't believe you slapped the real Santa. Now I think about it, I feel like renewing the grounding. You are grounded, grounded, grounded for an extra 93,000 Christmases. <laughs> Unfair. Colleen. Keep an open eye on Carly. I just need to get something from this store real quick for the party. Of course I will. Come on everybody. Let's party. Dancing, Carly. Dancing, Carly. Dancing, Carly. Dancing, Carly. Mom please stop. That's really embarrassing. I'm sorry little girl. Am I making you red in front of your friends? Stop! Why can't you just grow up mom? Get your hands off me. I'm just having a drink that's all, I'm just having fun. Imagine what dad would say if he was here today. He'd be turning in his grave, and you'll be in yours. <laughs> You've just lost our respects. Go ahead, drink yourself to death. There has been a lot of suspicious activity when little Bill's brother visited him a few times in the last few months. You don't suppose that they are plotting something? Well, the only way is to talk to him. Little Bill. Let's talk. Jeremy, do you have condoms? Got them in my pocket, haha. Mommy, what are condoms? Can I have one? Um. Ah. Let's get Sabrina upstairs. Caillou, could you do me a small favor? Could you take Sabrina up in your apartment for a while so she can rest? Of course, Candace. But mommy, I'm not even tired. Sabrina, do what mommy has asked. <laughs> Fine. Here you go, Sabrina. Have a good sleep. How come you are bald? Um. It's because, I ain't no see now good night. Good night. Free money. Yay. Dora? Are you okay? Yeah, I was just sending Mrs. Hall a voice message saying that it is safe. You think this is a game, Mrs. Hall? I ain't playing a game, Bobby. Just finish the job already, do it. Take me away from this world. You have one voice message. Hi Mrs. Hall, just to let you know that the money is safe in my apartment at the Victoria Cafe. Hope you keep safe and call soon, thanks. Bye. Voice messages, never failed us. So my money is at the Victoria Cafe. No. No, it's not. I've hidden it far away. Looks like your life will be spared for now. Now I know where to go. No, Bobby. No, take me. Just so you don't mess everything up, I will lock you in your own home. Let me out. Let me out, please. Please. Don't hurt them. The Victoria Cafe. Hell is coming. Now let's go to the restrooms. Okay, Candace, let's go.
I also got a glass of wine just for us in here. You really are the most wonderful boyfriend in the world. I know, we could be in here all night. Come on guys, dance with me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Go home Carly, you had enough. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Everybody, shut up. Carly, that's it. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Oh, you be quiet and all you taught. I heard you slept with Jeremy. I love you. Get out now. Fine. Fine, I'll leave. Goodbye, suckers. This party is garbage anyway. There must be more wine at the back of the cafe. Who needs them? I'll have a bash of my own. How's the party, Debbie? Exciting. Because you are here. That's nice to hear. Hey Diego, I've been meaning to ask you something. What is it? Diego? I, um... I... Would you? Um... Are you asking me out on a date? Um... Was I? Excuse me one moment. Calling the Plotagon City Police Department. Please be on the lookout for a man named Bobby Glover, brother of Little Bill of the Bill Clan. We will search the city. We will let you know update soon. Hey guys, someone just smashed into the flower stall. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing? Shut up. Bobby? Um, excuse me. Me can't do that! He got a gun. Everyone shut up. Get back. Everybody give me your phones now. Phones, hurry up. Close the blinds. You. Get with the others. I said move, now. Look, I work with the police. Good to know, now be quiet. Father? Son, is that you? That's Bobby. Bobby? What is this? What are you doing? I ain't telling you anything. As if you care about me. I do, Bobby. Me and your mother had to make decisions. I thought you'd be happy with your mother in April. All my life, I wanted you to accept me and make me feel I'm worth. But no, it's all about little Bill. I love you, Bobby. I probably have dozens of questions in my head right now. But you don't need to do this. You should just drop dead. I'll be happy to do that for you. Bobby, stop. Please, honey, stop. We can make this right. Don't take it out on your father. Just please, let's work this out together. We can fix this family again, like the good old days Bobby, we will have a fresh start, a clean slate. You, me, Dad, Jenny and April. All together again. Please. I will never forgive you. I know you visited Little Bill. Now everyone knows that you are Little Bill's brother. You visited Little Bill? Why? Leave it, Bill. Man, why are you visiting that monster? You're the monster, Dad. Me and Little Bill finally came to an understanding. He does not deserve to be sent to prison. I need the money to get him out again. Once he is free, we will run away together. This isn't the answer, Bobby. He is using you. 
I know little Bill, he would never use me, he worships me, as a role model brother, more of a role model than my own father and mother. I know I wasn't the perfect father. Please don't do this. Don't move. The many cooker is on. Please, Bobby. Think this through. Shut up. Everybody stay back.